Thank you for that question. That's uh, a difficult one, uh, one that I struggle with, but um, one that uh, I tried to address by working on issues that are important uh, to First Nations, as are most of our marine resources. And uh, now I work directly with First Nations um, to, to, to do this. So one example is a home fishery society uh, off the west coast of Vancouver Island. They represent uh, five First Nations. We are helping them understand and plan to better monitor their marine resources. And in that case, um, it's through underwater video and underwater sound uh, focused uh, on rockfish populations that are very, very difficult to monitor otherwise. And so it's been a wonderful collaboration. We just started another collaboration with HOME as well, looking at juvenile uh, Chinook salmon uh, off the west coast of Vancouver Island uh, using um, a technique that we call micro-trolling that uh, they're taking up. Um, and so I'm working with a PhD student um, and HOME to develop techniques that they will then be able to, um, to continue uh, past when that student um, has graduated. We work with other First Nations as well on some of their territories and some of their marine reserves, um, trying to document uh, underwater biodiversity. I also have a large program in the Arctic now, uh, and so we work with Inuit, uh, with various groups of hunters and trappers there. They're very interested in our work on, on acoustics uh, in the Arctic and our tagging work, trying to figure out where a lot of these marine mammals are moving and are they responding to, to ships. Um, and so I think that's our, our little bit um, in, this, in this regard.